I've always loved fishing, I've always had a boat. It's like having a pair of shoes, having a boat for me. My father-in-law, I had the greatest respect for him and I really did get on well. I can remember something he said to me. We were cod fishing just along the beach. He said, how'd you get on? I went, yeah, we've had a brilliant day today, really hit, hit, hit the fish today. And he opened the basket, because we used to cover them over, and he went, what's that? He said, what are you doing? Well, how many cod are you going to catch in August? Well, we don't. No, exactly. You, you leave your lobsters till August, catch your cod now, and a few crab. Because them lobsters now are gone. You're not going to catch them again in August. You can't keep fishing everything for today. There's got to be something for tomorrow. So the reason I stopped fishing in 1999 was that I, I couldn't make a living out of it and the weather was really bad and we'd had eight or nine weeks. Bills were mounting up. I couldn't earn a living out of it anymore. How true he was. Those words really mean a lot to me that, you know, we need to be looking after what we've got because there ain't a lot left. We want to put something back now. We want to still show that we can catch fish and there's fish to be had. We've got to give the edge. We've got to give the percentage back to the fish, not us have the percentage on the fish. Today is what we normally do, it's my fishing day. We went off and we get given what we get given. In other words, whatever swims into the net. We've managed to stop the pear trawlers. The fish life coming back in shore now is, is just, it, it's just incredible. It really is, it, it ain't taken long. We have never seen so many pods of dolphins as this year. It's part of what should be out there. Everyone should be entitled to see that. The kelp beds are very important. We used to have big kelp beds inside here. That's all gone. It's just literally gone. It used to be just a forest. Why is it gone? My theory is that the water temperature has warmed up and I think kelp doesn't like the hot, warmer water. Secondly, we're getting more summer storms. So the kelp gets knocked off when it's still growing. By doing what I'm doing, which is using trammel nets, gill nets, I can go out there and earn a living selling it to these people that, that love it. They absolutely love it and they will keep coming. And they're going, what are we having tomorrow, Clive? What's on tomorrow, Clive? They'd eat fish four or five days a week because it's lovely. They'd sooner eat that than eat meat. It's not processed, it's reasonable price, and it's, they're catching sustainably, so it's, it's all good. Thanks, Kai. Thank you very much. It's local traders, so I'm all for it. This is what we've always done. We've always sold fish like this. All along the south coast, there are fishing communities who are doing the same type of work and we really should be, as residents, we really should be supporting every effort to improve the state of our coastal waters. I want to be able to carry on doing what I've always enjoyed doing. And I, and I would love to see two young, three young, four young lads come along and go, cool, we'd love to be part of that. We want to do this, this is something we want to do, you know? That's how we started, that's how Terry started, how Dick started. Uh, within a mile of this bit of beach where we all started, we loved it. And we grew up on this beach. It's... Look at that. How can you not want to grow up with that? It's, it's just, wow, it's, you don't get better than this. <laughs>